Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. There's a question that is quite often asked, and uh, especially during the lockdown, is how does one conduct a marriage? How is a marriage and nikah conducted in, the, in an Islamically sound way uh, during a lockdown when people cannot gather and all be in one place? Because generally what you have is you have the bride, uh, you have the groom, and you have generally a representative of the bride, and you have two witnesses, and you generally have a sheikh or somebody who's going to conduct the nikah. And you have generally other people as well. Now that's happening, uh, you know, that's very difficult sometimes do in a masjid or otherwise. So I've done a few nikahs during this time, one I did in America, and another one, inshallah, I'm gonna do today. So the way to do it is actually not that difficult, it's actually quite easy. The assumption is that if the, if the, if the bride and groom are in different places, let's just say, like, let's just say that Muhammad is in the UK, in London, and uh, his wife-to-be is, uh, is in Morocco, or is in India, or Pakistan, or Egypt, or wherever it is, then generally what happens is that, you know, you can get together on Zoom, but physically, this is the condition that physically there needs to be, the, the, the main people need to be together physically. Now it's difficult if the wife cannot be in the UK because of visa you know, issues or whatever. So what generally what happens, as in when we do them in normal days as well, that the wife makes somebody her representative. So what she would do from Morocco or Egypt or wherever is that she would make somebody here who knows Muhammad, maybe his brother, maybe his father, maybe somebody else, the representative to represent her uh, and she can send him an email or a letter or something of that nature to make him the represent. I make you the representative for my marriage to Muhammad for this dowry amount. Mahar Fatimi, thousand pounds, whatever it is. Right? Once she's done that, that person becomes a representative. Now, physically speaking, the four people that need to be together in one place is the groom and the bride or the bride's representative. So in this case, it's the bride's representative. Those two people need to be in the same place along with the two witnesses who witness them. The shaykh conducting the nikah doesn't have to be physically present. He can be present on a phone or on Zoom, right? Through some wireless contact of some sort. Then they can be, whoever else wants to be there can also be present over Zoom. But the four people need to be there now. They could be in one place. They could be, you know, distancing themselves. As long as they can see and hear one another, that's enough. So now what will happen is that the shaykh will, um, you know, point out who the groom is, Muhammad, and the representative of the bride. The bride can be on Zoom as well, but uh, generally speaking, we have the representative of the bride physically present there because she's in another country. So um, let's just say brother Yusuf, right, who's uh, a cousin of Muhammad, he's representing the bride, right? Or oh, it's his uncle, for example, so she's representing the bride. So now the sheikh will ask the bride's representative that you as the bride's representative take her name right whatever salma um, husna whatever her name is that do you give consent to her marriage to muhammad and he'll say yes you know for this dowry amount in front of the two witnesses and the groom will uh, will be asked that do you accept her in your marriage for the said amount in front of witnesses and he'll say yes right so the wit the two pre witnesses who are present there you know they're physically witnessing this that's all you need right the two males Right? Could be one male and two females as well, but generally it's two males. And that's it, the nikah is done, and everybody else is watching online. Right? There's just not going to be probably any food or whatever. Now obviously the, he can give a walima. Walima doesn't have to be, it's the husband's responsibility to give a walima. He can, give, he can feed two, three people. He can send some food somewhere. Right? You know, get an Uber delivery or something to several people, and, um, or whatever the case is, and, and that's it, that's it. So, just to reiterate, the main thing is to actually just have the four main people in one place. The groom, the bride's representative, and the two witnesses. The sheikh can be somebody el somewhere else, um, and anybody, you know, there can be other people watching as well. This is according to the agreed upon. There are other views that make it a bit more lenient about certain other differences, but I think just to keep it safe, why, especially since it's possible just to make this proxy of someone to representative, represent, then this is the way it should be done. May Allah bless your nikahs and uh, you know, don't, delay, don't delay marriages because of this, you know, because of the pandemic. Get married if you have to. And if you have any other questions, just contact us. Allah bless. Assalamu alaikum.